everybody, Tallyfin Toy 2 here, welcome back to the railway. Today we have this, this is the Hornby Santa's Express. I'm looking forward to unboxing this, so let's not waste any time. I have turned the box over then, and yep, Santa's Express, Hornby. I like the Christmassy look to this, which is nice. Crane running around a tree. So yeah, it seems to run around a tree, which is good. I'm not going to test that today, because I don't have a tree out right now. But you've seen it all before, hopefully. If not, I will put a link to the video where it's going around a tree in the description. I have had this for nearly two years now, probably just over. So it looks a bit worn, but it still works, hopefully. You've seen this in the how-to videos, I believe. Let's unbox this. This is a very familiar layout. The X6089 instruction and track map leaflets. Does it have a track map? I don't remember it having a track map. Let's have a look at this. And there's a manual. I've seen this before. Um, there's the front, if you want to have a look at this. Here's the back. Inside, again, just keep on pausing if you do want to have a look at any of this, but most of us have seen it before. The HP motor. This is an interesting hyper motor. So we've got lubrication. Yep, lubrication, that, that checks out. Body removal, done by, which one's this? Screw, a screwdriver with clips, lovely. That type, they're all there. TV, what's this, T television suppression, yep, seen all that. Collector, exclusive 040430 magazine. Their product range. Nice wagons on the back, I have to say. They look pretty good. The main train set. What should we do first? Let's do this. So these are just the vacuum pipes, I believe, to be fitted to the locomotive. I wouldn't be doing that today. And then the transformer. I probably called it, I don't know, who knows what, a controller before. But that wasn't on camera. So that's okay, that's the regular controller, P9000. The train controller, same old, same old. I'm sure lots of you remember this. Input 19 volts. So let's just test, does it, yeah. It's got that really annoying thing. We have to turn it down to zero, and then flip the direction. So we'll wire that all later. Underneath here we have the re-railer, not essential, well, not the most essential thing, it probably comes about two pounds actually, but I'm not sure if Hornby stock them individually. The track then, so, I think this is first radius from my memory, just test on my layer. Yeah, that's annoying, that is very annoying. This is first radius, which means that you can run your simple 04 row on here, but that's about it. Straight piece of track. The fish plates has come off this one. Don't, don't worry about that though, because it is, it's on here. So that's fine. And then power track. Yep, that connector. So you grab your wire. And that plugs in there. Let's do this wagon first then. Ooh, quite heavy this one. So you have a nice north pole sort of wagon with a load. That's what that's where most of the weight comes from. This load here. This wagon. Yeah, this is a lot lighter. Bigger and lighter. Because there's not a lot of weight here. Nice. How does this Clips, just clip fitted. Let me try and get 
Okay, next. Hollow on the side. Have a look at the other one, actually. Clips on the bottom. No, can't get those off. Not simply, anyway. This, well, the tape has long since, long since worn out of its purpose because, yeah, I've had it for a while. Wow, nice livery. Not the best train I've ever seen, but definitely not the worst. Really nice livery there. Well, what's next? I believe it's detail. So let's have a look at the detail on not just the locomotive, but on the rolling stock as well. Detail. Now, this won't be the biggest section of this video because it's not a big engine for detail, as you can see. It's basically all moulded, but there is detail to the handrails, the nice printing as well for Santa's Express. The 12 does seem to be either etched or, I'm not sure, but the 12 definitely has some relief among the rest, which is a nice feature. So, yeah, the copper. Is that supposed to be copper? Let me have a look at the box. That's supposed to be copper. Well, it's supposed to be the same colour as this, which is basically a nice goldy copper sort of colour. That's not copper. That is nothing like copper or gold. At least not like this or this. So I don't know what's happening there. We do have moulded on the handrails on the cab as well as the sides. The wheel motion, you can even see the motor there. From the back then, yeah, you can see the windows there and this. Buffers, they're not sprung. There's no way these would be sprung. They're not, they're not NEM couplings. It's fine, it's just this piece. That might help actually. Get a bit of detail on that. It's got the Hornby logo. How do I get this in focus? It's not in focus. Give me one minute. Okay, let's forget that then. Plug it back in. No cab detail there. In fact, we probably want to take it out again so we can look at the cab in more detail. Um, it looks a bit like Henrietta, really, doesn't it? From Thomas and Friends. But no, there really isn't a lot of detail. It's all moulded. Coal is kind of okay. I'll take the locomotive away and grab the present wagon. Again, the decoration on all three of these is lovely. Look at that there, the loco. The decoration is top, at least really good. So the presents do come out then, that is where most of the wagon's weight comes from, of course. This seems to be yeah, resin, die cast. It feels more like resin to me, like one of their resin buildings. So, there's a horn, lots of presents, there's a teddy bear. Packages, yeah, looks really, really decent. North Pole and bells on both sides. The same couplings. It seems to be rolling towards this edge. I wonder why that is. Anyway, basically no detail on there. It's wooden planking, but not a decent effect. Plastic wheels, yeah. The loco had to have metal, obviously, but I believe both wagons have plastic. Now, 
this is nice again printing santa say in transit apparently there was a reindeer one on the previous versions but i don't have that if I'm, is this this does as well that is so weird anyway so you can see there's a pipe there plastic axles again if I, these do separate you just have to stress a little bit but I still can't get the other one to do anything. Nice. Let's try and put this back on now. Done it before, obviously. Nice black roof. The lines. There is a little point in the middle. But that, that is it for the detail section. So, the mechanism then. This is a very simple mechanism. This screw does absolutely nothing. There is no base keeper, which is annoying because to access the pickups, you have to take the whole thing to pieces. Next, we have to shove a screwdriver in there, carefully lever the body away. Very simple chassis, no provision for DCC whatsoever. Maybe one day I'll fit DCC, but I run analog, so it's all fine. The pickups simply go straight to the motor, which turns here. And then if I pick it up a little bit and keep on turning, the, the wheels do gradually move the other way. Try and make sure it's moving. There we go. So yeah, that's that. That is your flywheel. And there are no bearings. But that's that's what I'd expect, so yeah. At this point, I have filmed the performance test. So it's all sort of... I've seen the performance test, and you haven't, but when you watch the performance test, I wouldn't have seen the mechanism, so I have no idea if this is going to do anything, or well, you'll have no idea if what's going to happen next will be because of this, so the body is a very simple clip, it goes back on. A little bit of force doesn't feel like the best thing, but that's fine. The layout is set up then. I had a bit of problem, if you didn't see, with the power supply, because it wouldn't fit in that little hole. So I'm just going to plug that back in. What I had to do was go over to another power supply so I could plug it in. But that's all done, so I am going to fix this one track joint that didn't run. And get everything on the track. I will make use of the re-railer, just to show you how to use it, even though you've probably seen it before. It's never a bad thing to learn how to use something, just be reminded. The re slots in between the rails, and it helps put the loco locos on the track. And of course, it all derails. Now, they are on the track. I'm ready for first test. After I've taken the re-railer off. There you go. They're running. So. That's all there is to it.
Santa's Express. Okay. Pull what it's supposed to pull. And that's really it. stopped. What is it? Is it bad track connection? Yep. this way. It's still happening. I have absolutely no idea why. Wheels are reasonably clean. I cleaned the track over. It looks fine for how to. What could have gone wrong? It can't be just the one dodgy connector. The power would still reach the train. Either way, I'll just make sure that every connector is properly together. Is it this place or ah? Ah. I'm not sure if you can see, but that hasn't been put together properly. My fault. That must have been it. Let me double check the rest of them on there. Better safe than sorry, is what cautious Tom has. Right, that's all fine. One stoppage at low speed. We passed halfway. What's the problem? The dodgy connector. Well, there you go. Please with that.